back to another set. This time we are doing something with the mermaid set for maniology. I entered that a second ago. So what I did was I ombre these nails and I did it with Blossom, which is a maniology color and a queen color that I had called Super Intense and a white. So the white was, uh, I think it's Pure White by Maniology. Bam White, sorry, Bam White by Maniology. And I ombre those three colors together so that you get this nice kind of almost like a popsicle summer look to them. I think this will be a nice background. Then I went in with the CND effects. They do not make these any longer, but you can get something similar. This one is blue ice shimmer, so it has a blue iridescent. And I use that just to kind of smooth out the ombre and also give a little bit of an iridescent sheen to it as a background. Now I'm going in with OPI's All a Twitter in Glitter. And I'm gonna give one of the one or two of the nails some of this for a background. This is like a chunky, chunkier glitter, so you have to be a little careful with your application. Um, just to make sure that it's kind of smooth. You don't want to have a lot of glitter parts sticking up because then when you go to stamp over it, it doesn't really work so well. While those dry, I did stamp this onto my stamper and now I'm just going to reverse color it um, and then I will be back. All right so I have applied a little bit of color to the back of this nail or the back of the stamp so I'll show you what that looks like. So what I did was I applied some brown first and then I went over that whole section with white and then I did a little bit of blue at the bottom just to give that a little more. We're gonna use the sticky base coat from Maniology to give us some stick because the stamp has been on for a little bit and it won't come off without a little help. I'm gonna wait a few seconds for it to dry and then I had chosen this one because I liked the background. It looks like a sunset. And I'm actually going to put my boat just a little off to the side so that it kind of wraps around the nail like so. Okay. And then we're going to just gently, 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 gently tap in anything that didn't come up easily. And now you've got your birds and your sun. And I had just a little bit of my ocean that didn't come up. So I'm going to go back and tap that in. Perfect. And then now it looks like it's sitting on an ocean of blue with a sunset. But I want to do a little bit more with the bottom of that now. So I'm going to take these ocean swirls. I've not used this plate before, so I'm going to actually go in with the black first and see what it looks like. If it's fine enough, I'll stamp it over. All right, and it is fine enough. So what I'm gonna do is remove that bottom half that I don't want, like so. A little piece of tape. I'm not gonna do any coloring to this. I'm just gonna add those ocean swirls so that it looks like the ocean itself with the ship on top. And a sunset. There we go. Nail number one is complete. For nail number two and three over here, we're just gonna go with a simple um, mermaid scale. So I'm gonna go in with white. So I wanna see what that is gonna do for us. I have a feeling it'll be enough. But if it's not,
All right, so I am going to reverse paint this. It's gonna take me a few minutes. I am not going to film it because I think that's rather boring for you to sit and watch me dab paint into little tiny areas. Um, but I will come back just as we're, I'm about to be done so that we can, you can see what that looks like. All right, so I went ahead and painted this and it took me a little bit. Um, it definitely isn't something you can do while your client is sitting with you. Um, it is something you'd want to do ahead of time. As with all like coloring stamps where you're reverse, reverse stamping. So what I did was I stamped first and then I went back in with my colors, remembering to build from the front back. So when I flip it over, you can see that that is what she looks like. So what I did was I did the purple first and the, you know, all the areas that I wanted to be at the most forefront, I did first. And then I backed it afterwards by going over it with the flesh tone color for the areas that I needed that. So in doing that, I was able to layer the colors and not have to worry about bleeding through because I had already done the fins and that sort of thing. So it didn't matter if I went over that with the um, flesh tone color and accidentally hit something. So she's looking pretty awesome. We're going to put some sticky base on the back to help us to transfer it. And again, just kind of floating it down. You don't want to drag it because if you drag it, you will drag your design up and then you will be a very unhappy camper. So you may have to apply it a little liberally. That's okay. Just give it a couple seconds to dry up a little bit before you transfer it. We're going to be putting it on this nail because it is a wider nail. I would do this on a, you know, a thumbnail or if I had like a wide ring finger possibly, I might do it there. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to line up the bottom so that her fins are along the bottom. And I'm going to roll it on. Push it to one side and then the other. And then I'm going to release slowly because I want to make sure that everything has adhered. It's kind of like a big sticker. So sometimes you got to roll it off slow. And I'm just going to tuck down the edges where that extra top coat is. If you're doing this on a client, you would just Take a little acetone polish remover and clean that up, but this is just sitting on a nail, so we're going to tuck that in around the edge. Then when I top coat it, it'll come off. And there you go. One fabulous little mermaid. To join our crew, we have one nail left. And for that last nail, I think what I'm going to do, whoops. So we're going to do under the seat and then I'm going to put some shells around it and we're going to call this set done. So I'm just going to clean off my plate because I've been making a good mess of it. For under the sea, I think we're going to go in with a little bit of purple because it matches her and it's dark enough that we'll get a good transfer for that. And I'm going to go to the lightest part of this nail, and that is where we're going to put the under the C part so that it is easy to see. And I am going to put the crown up here as well. But I think we'll do that.
I have more than I need, but that's okay. That picked up perfectly. And then we just need to kind of hover over it and decide sort of how we like this to look. I'm going to take this bottom piece off because I'm not really crazy about it. And I'm just going to go in and crown the top of that so that we kind of tie it all together. And that is it. That is our Little Mermaid Under the Sea set. It's a lot of fun to do. I will leave the um, plate number in the description and I'm going to go in with my no smudge top coat as soon as I can find it. There it is. I hope you enjoyed this set with me. Shine it up so you can see what the whole thing looks like. And as always, I'm floating my top coat, which means I'm using a little more than I would typically use on a nail. But that just makes sure that you don't accidentally smudge your beautiful work. It really brings out the shimmer as well as all the design detail, which is amazing. I'm hoping you're able to see that on camera because it would be so sad if it were just for my eyes only. The finish set. I hope you all enjoyed the set. All right, see you in the next one.